have this obsession with short-lived sensations in the body. Panic attack, an orgasm, ecstasy, agony, hyper-real, hyper-powered sensations that put us in a state of fight or flight or kind of awaken our instincts. I'm really interested in what happens when we override those kill switches in our body to sort of see what lies behind them. The way that I work is, I think, closer to the way that like a sculptor works than like a actor, dancer. And I think a lot about the like materiality of the body is something that time acts on in a very particular way. If you're sculpting in marble, your form will start to change shape over the course of like 700 years. Uh, but if you're sculpting in bodies, um, the form will change over the course of seven hours. When I was coming up with the embrace, I was thinking a lot about what happens behind museum glass. I was thinking a lot about Chris Marker, like the Statue de Russie, creating like a living relic. It was like deep COVID, August, I think, 2020. And we were just at that point where we were really starting to fear for our lack of proximity to one another. So I kind of wanted to see if I could preserve that under museum glass kind of anonymous encounter between two bodies, just two people that don't know each other and being able to kind of like meet and touch and meet by touch for the first time. It's such a specific human experience that I feel like we were afraid that we were gonna forget about. When I start with something like longing, I kind of try to focus on the thing that lasts the least amount of time, and blow it up and magnify it, put it in a petri dish, and see if I can make it proliferate. 